Coney Island is something very particular for us if we think that we grow up smelling, feeling, seeing the power of the ocean and that is the only thing that surrounds us. Today, we hardly know anything about the ocean and its deepness is a mystery for our knowledge. What is under the sea? Why is it so important for us? Today, we're going to take a dip and invite you to watch Sea View. I remember some words I listened sometimes from Capitan Antonio Archibald. He said, the sea is like a woman. We have to love him and mind him, and more of all, respect him. aprender a escuchar sus palabras, a entenderlo. Si no, puede ser el monstruo más cruel que puede existir. Tantas cosas que uno puede disfrutar en el mar. Si uno pues no pensar, digamos, de lo peligroso que es, pero lo, lo divino, lo bonito. have for us is not only the beautiful of the seven color sea what we see every day in his deepness he have a million of diversities ecosystem that give us and provide us the importance that we need for our existence
so for us to understand the importance of the coral reef, for example, we should we can look on it from the point of view of the beaches. So without coral reefs, we may don't have these um, white sand beaches that existed here on San Andres and, and in the, on the Keys. Because, but it's because of the ecosystem. Hmm? Because of the coral reefs, and because of the seagrasses, and because of the mangroves, and because of the water that came from main, from, from all the islands that are bringing nutrients that needed to feed the fishes that are living around the coral reefs. But all of it, in general, it's, it's one big ecosystem. So when we are cutting trees from all the islands, when we are cutting the trees on, in, on the cove, in the cove valley, or when we are when we are pulling up this, the, um, the mangrove areas, or when we are pulling up the wetlands, we are somehow attempting to damage the coral reefs that exist around the, around the island. And if we are damag damaging the coral reefs, then we may end up uh, contributing to the disappearance of the, the beaches that existed here on the island of San Andres. So this big, there is this big relationship. This is what we are saying, the relationship between white water and blue water. What happened on land affects the sea, and what happened on the, in the sea will end up affecting the land also. We have to see how we can live, among, how we can fit ourselves in this ecosystem. Because if we don't fit ourselves in the right way in this ecosystem, then we will end up damaging precisely the ecosystem. So that relationship has to be really tuned in a very fine way for, it not, for us to reduce as much as possible the damages that we are, um, because there will be damages. Necessarily, as for us humans to, to live on the island, we are making some kind of contribution to reduce the natural ecosystem. But we have to try to live as less as possible with the less damages to these to these ecosystems. So what we are doing on land is needed to be very fine-tuned to see how it can impact the less as possible what is happening in the sea. That relationship between white water and blue water. White water is the water that is on the land. Blue water is the what is the water from the from the oceans. Debido a estos cambios que, que hemos visto y eh, con conciencia creciente eh, versus estos, uh, estos problemas, una de las problemáticas que enseguida nos dimos cuenta es la contaminación marina por medio de desechos sólidos sumergidos. Eh, me explico mejor. Um, haciendo buceo en fondales marinos, uh, nos dábamos siempre más cuenta de la creciente cantidad de basura, sea vieja que nueva, uh, que por um, mala costumbre de, del turista y también de los residentes, um, botando latas o paquetes plásticos, envolturas, no en los recipientes aptos, eh, la brisa eh, o la lluvia obviamente eh, traen esto desecho al mar y en el mar se quedan. Um, mucha gente todavía piensa, con una cultura muy equivocada, que el mar 
sea un, una gran caneca de basura. Y esto no es verdad, esto es totalmente equivocado. Esto es un otro mundo que tenemos que respetar y además eh, es, eh, desde el mar traemos muchísimas eh, materias, obviamente primas, y para, para nuestro sustentamiento. Eh, nos dimos cuenta que un sector de la isla eh, cerca del barco hundido, que es un sitio de buceo muy utilizado para, para todos los operadores de buceo, fácil de llegar o sea, o por lancha o por tierra, eh, tenía un alto grado de contaminación por residuos sólidos sumergidos, o RSS, como más se conocen. Junto con mi socio, Jorge Sánchez, eh, decidimos hacer algo eh, al respecto y eh, empezamos a organizar una pequeña eh, limpieza en el, en el área. Y obviamente, como pasa también en las casas, las oficinas y donde vivimos, cuando tú empiezas a limpiar, obviamente sale más basura. Y entonces organizamos otra. Y esto por medio de redes sociales, con algunas fotos que, que Jorge editó, en, 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 posteó en Facebook o en, en, en diferentes redes sociales, eh, encontramos que una una buena parte de, de, de los buzos de la isla, sea operadores de buceo, que turistas, que buzos recreativos, residentes, eh, era interesada y muy sensible a lo que estábamos haciendo. Y se creó una, una ola de voluntarios eh, en las treinta uh, y pico uh, limpiezas que hemos organizado que no, no solamente nosotros, que todos hemos organizado eh, y recuperamos un área de alrededor de 60.000 metros cuadrado, cuadrados de mar que ya fue entregada a Gobernación como eh, espacio eh, libre de residuos sólidos. En mi primer vez en el Isofishin, en el Isofishin me voy a hablar de aquí, que es un pez, como un conce de sobrevivir de Malé. Pero, el pueblo se fue, así que tenemos que ir a la quilla, que es la quilla, y la quilla es la quilla. Normalmente, nosotros hacemos, nosotros hacemos, para que nos quedemos 20 para ellos. Pero, el pueblo, The climate, the climate change, and the same product we used to find 120 for them, you have to have about 150 to 150, also, also to 160 for them, the production. That means that the production is moving from the shallow, going to the deep. Well, the common circumstances that we have a chance, the government help us with a, with a boat, With the family, we can move from the Florida Keys and to the north. We also have better production and we can survive with the family. Well, the government support me with the board helping 15 families. And also, the man that help us with the expense and so. This Caribbean, he have a business in this Caribbean. He finances our movement in the sea. Well, We have a chance to go to the north, we have a bigger boat, a artesanal boat. We go into the north, find better production. Also the production, the production to the north is better. More production, more fish, more lobster. Well, also the, we can't fool around the country right now because and say, it's not so we respect that. Respect that because against the law is not good. Against the law, We lose. So, well, I encourage plenty of also. No, also, we, everybody wants a family to, to better, right? But I don't see no bad in fishing. Fishing is also as an, an alternative in life. That's also everybody can survive in family. I have 20 years working in this and, and I have no complaint. I got my family, I support my family. My wife, my mother, my parents go to school. 
and have them complain right now. And I thank the Lord for giving me the health and the strength. If I can do this job, this wonderful job. And I invite to say about you to try it. Because it's safe over for us. And if we leave it and the strangers come from outside and take it, they won't get to the, to the final future, they won't get everything out of it. And we won't get nothing. So think this because this is something serious. The island is ours. Remember, the island is small and the sea is big. Don't forget that. My name is Charles and I invite everybody to try it. If I one more time, one in time in the life, and if you don't like it, just retire it. But remember this, the sea is bigger than the land. Thanks. <music>